guys welcome back to reconvert in this video i'm going to show you how to create these beautiful featured collections right in here if you want to feature your cell collection or your best sellers or any other type of collection you want to feature uh, it can look this way let's just jump into the app and i'm going to show you exactly how it works so we are back in the reconvert dashboard let's head over to the page builder and i'll show you how to these featured collections all right so this is the template we already worked on uh, now I'm just gonna add pretty much the same thing to the left side so you can see exactly how it looks like on both sides uh, what you need to do is click on the side you want click on add section and then you need to click on collection list and click add once we add the collection list, it's still empty, so this is what it's going to show. Um, the first thing we need to decide is what's going to be the heading. So what I did here is our favorites collection. You can just, I don't know, our favorites, maybe just best sellers. Let's do something like that. The next thing you can do is control the header. You can change it to, let's say, red, and you can change the size of the font. Of the title to whatever you want so let's just keep it at a nice um, I don't know 18 pixels you can also make it italic or bold or both or whatever you want let's just keep it bolded for now uh, and you can transform the text to be uppercase or whatever you want all right let's keep it that way um, all right and the next thing now we're going to uh, control the actual collection text uh, in order to do that let's just first add a collection so in order to add a collection, just need to go uh, all the way down to the contact content section right here and click add collection, click on the collection and click select collection. And that's going to open a list of all the collections you have inside Shopify. Uh, now, just have in mind that it's going to automatically take the uh, cover picture from the collection. So if the dimensions are not working for you, just make sure to change that on your Shopify store and it should look okay. Uh, so let's just do uh, sale and let's add another collection and add the collection. Mm, let's just go for the air bonsai. That's cool. All right. So you can see that here I have three collections and here I have two collections. The reason for that is that we can control how many collections we're going to have per row. So let's just add another collection just for the sake of demonstration and choose the DIY collection. Now you can see that I have three collections in two rows of two, and I can change it up for two collections uh, to uh, one row of three collections. All right, so you can play with it as much as you can. Now let's control the text inside uh, the actual uh, collections. So what we can do is first play with the text itself. Let's change it to black, for example. Black doesn't look good. Maybe let's change it again for red. So now you can see that it's in red, the name of the collection. That's also going to be withdrawn from the Shopify um, collection name. All right. We can also, again, play with the title size. Now it's bigger. And let's keep it bolded. And again, we can keep it uppercase. Um, if we choose to, you can do whatever you want. That's it. That's all you need to know. Now, a few things to take in consideration. First of all, if you do that um, on mobile, Again, everything that is on mobile on the right side is going to come first on mobile. And just know that it, there's no layout for it um, in mobile. It's just going to be one after another. You can't make two collections in one line on mobile. It's just uh, going to be this way. All right. Um, let's remove the old one. Let's hide it. Let's keep it here and hide it. Now, all I need to do in order to see that is just click Save. This is the live template uh, on this website. And let's head over to the actual thank you page to see how it looks like. Again, another important note, uh, if you want to look at your thank you page, you don't need to create a test order or whatever. All you have to do is just go to one random order and then click on more actions and click view order status page. That's going to take us to the thank you page. OK, so we are on the actual thank you page. We've added the collection below. Let's see how it looks like. And this is the collection list. Obviously, I didn't do uh, that much of anything to make it look good, but you can do whatever you want with it. Um, that's it. Let's just click on it, see if it goes to the right collection, and see how it looks like. Perfect. So it took us to the right collection. Guys, you're all set 
and ready to go, you now know how to add collection lists and uh, featured collections to your thank you page. Uh, if you still haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to join our Facebook group. The link is going to be uh, in the description below this video. We share daily tips, uh, deals on Shopify apps, and lots of other cool stuff, you know, all the updates and everything. Uh, so feel free to just join us and let us know your comments below.